I have another story to read for you. This is Thomas and the Easter Eggs. Spring was springing everywhere, and Thomas went out each day. There were more and more buds on the trees, and more flowers bursting from the ground. Thomas's passengers were enjoying the spring, too. Annie and Clarabelle's windows were open for the first time in a long while. One morning, Sir Topham Hatt came into the yard. Thomas, he said, I need Dom Donald and Douglas for some heavy pulling at the harbor. You will replace them in Harwick for a couple of days to keep things right on time up there. Yes, sir, Thomas peeped. That should be for a fun adventure. Harwick was a town in the hilly countryside in the north of Sodor. As Thomas traveled north, Annie and Clarabelle weren't carrying any passengers. They were full of pretty ba straw baskets. Harwick was chilly, but Thomas's drivers assured him that it would be warm soon. The weather should be perfect for the big Easter egg hunt on Saturday. Egg hunt? asked Thomas. What can eggs hunt for? His, his driver laughed. Eggs don't hunt for anything, Thomas. Children hunt for the colored eggs that are hidden in the town park. That's what the baskets are for, collecting eggs. As promised, each day was warmer and warmer as Thomas chugged up and down the tracks around Harwick. Each day, Thomas saw Terrence working hard, too. Terrence's caterpillar tracks helped him move around the steep hillsides. In a tree near the tracks, Thomas could see a pair of birds busily building a nest out of twigs and grass. One day, Thomas saw that the birds had found a piece of ribbon, which gave the nest a cheery bit of color. Now that nest reminds me of James, thought Thomas. The day before the Easter egg hunt, Thomas saw Terrence pulling a trailer full of eggs. The eggs had been dyed all the colors of the rainbow. Thomas had never seen anything so pretty. Thomas waited for Terrence as he drove down the muddy road. As Terrence easily turned the corner, he tooted a happy hello spring, a happy spring hello to Thomas, but the trailer didn't have caterpillar tracks like Terrence. The curve was too sharp. The road was muddy and oh no! The trailer slowly, slowly slowly rolled onto its side. Hundreds of Easter eggs slipped off the trailer and rolled down the hill. They tumbled faster and faster down the grassy slope. Some eggs stop, got stopped by the flowers and thick clumps of grass. Some rolled to the edge of a stream and a few eggs found, made it all the way, a few eggs made it all the way down to the fence around Farmer Dalby's garden. Oh no, cried Terrence. How are we ever going to get all these eggs gathered into the town in, and into town in time for the Easter egg hunt tomorrow? And suddenly, Thomas smiled. I think I have an idea, he said. The next morning, there were many children and their families at the town park, and there was the big um, sign announcing that the Easter egg hunt but there was no baskets, and worse yet, there were no Easter eggs. Just then, Sir Tapham, just then, Thomas pulled up, and Sir Tapham Hatt laughed and smiling. All aboard, he cried, all aboard for a quick trip to a new location for the Easter egg hunt. And everyone happily boarded on Annie and Clarabelle, who, had, who was decorated for the special day. Soon, everyone was heading out of Harwick toward Mr. Dalby's farm. If we can't bring the Easter eggs to the children, peeped Thomas, we'll take the children to the Easter eggs. When they reached Dalby's farm, the children got out and waited for the signal to begin hunting for eggs. Sir Topham Hatt started the big hunt. Ready, set, go! And all the children were off. They looked everywhere for brightly colored Easter eggs. They found eggs in the bushes and by the stream. Everyone was having fun. Thomas and Sir Topham Hatt watched the children laughing and hunting. Suddenly, Thomas noticed three blue eggs in a nest in the tree. How did those eggs get up in the tree, he asked. Can Easter eggs fly? Sir Topham Hatt laughed. Those aren't Easter eggs, Thomas. Those are robin's eggs, and soon they will hatch to be baby birds. Thomas smiled and sighed. Warm weather, smiling children, Easter eggs, and baby birds. I can't wait for the rest of spring. The end.